All right, well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. We are here to proclaim FFA Week here in Nebraska. I am being joined by Luke Crable, who is with Adams Central, and also Sam Wilkins from Atkinson, and Faith Santana, who is from Auburn. They're all vice presidents in the state FFA. And we're here to celebrate FFA Week. Now, why is this so important? Well, FFA Week is important because agriculture is Nebraska's biggest industry. It is our industry that accounts for over 20% of our state GDP, about one in four jobs, in a wide variety of fields where that, that actually makes an impact. And the way we focus on growing Nebraska is by growing agriculture. We've got to grow agriculture here in our state. And over the last couple of years, we've had a lot of examples of how that's working. I'll just share a couple of them. One, we have the Lincoln Premium Poultry Costco facility that is opening up, or is open now, in Fremont. In fact, I was just in Fremont on Friday, and they now are employing 813 people in that facility. And not only are they employing 813 people in that facility processing poultry in Fremont, they're working with about 100 Nebraska farm families to raise those birds. And that gives the opportunity for those farm families to develop equity in their operation, diversify their revenue stream, and importantly, bring young people like you back into the operation. In fact, uh, some of my friends from the Wakefield area, the Borgs, their daughter Hannah has come back to help run the barns there. The Scholes family in Seward, same story. I mean, this is a great opportunity for young people to come back into agriculture. And we think that that facility will have an over a billion dollar impact on our state's economy. That is a huge deal. Our, you know, our, our overall state's economy is you know, $114, $120 billion. So you can see it's a big impact on our state. We also have a company that, uh, Avancia, that is adding to our biosciences. And this is in Blair. There's a Cargill campus on Blair. Avancia is created a, or has created a fermenting process for stevia sweeteners, the first in the United States. And again, this is another example of how agriculture impacts our state. That campus up there, uh, Avancia is joining companies like Novozymes and Avonic uh, to be able to create a bioscience hub in Blair. And so, again, creating all sorts of other great opportunities connected with agriculture that are out there. In fact, agriculture is a booming business. If you look at what the USDA says, there'll be roughly 60,000 job openings for jobs in agriculture or related natural resources, whether you're talking about direct production agriculture or somebody who may be a, a scientist working in a lab or something like that, there are going to be 60,000 jobs, and yet probably we're only going to graduate about 35,000 graduates in those fields to be able to take those jobs. So there's going to be huge demand and lots of opportunity. And this is where FFA comes in, right? Because you all are getting exposed to those opportunities to be able to get involved in agriculture. In fact, Nebraska FFA is growing. We've got nearly 10,000 people involved in FFA in 193 chapters. And according to these fine young people up here, we're going to add on roughly nine and get to 200 by next year. Right, Luke? That's the hope. That's the, no, no, that's not. That's, that's, the that's the plan. That's the plan. It's not the hope. Hope's not a plan. Plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. We're working on to be able to get to uh, over 200 chapters and get the panhandle completely covered, right, Sam? Yeah. All right, there we go. So that's what FFA is about, is getting young people involved in those careers in agriculture so you can see the types of things that are going on. Now, Luke, my understanding is you didn't grow up on a farm, right? No, I didn't. But you've been a detasseler, right? Like six years in a row now or something? That I have. So even though you didn't grow up on a farm, you got involved in agriculture through FFA and got experience and so forth. And now you're planning on getting involved with uh, civil engineering yep. and looking at maybe soils, uh, and water. And water, yes, natural resources. So great example of how, again, a career path that leads tied to agriculture, which you can explore through FFA. So it's a, it's a great program to be involved with FFA. It's growing here in our state. It's incredibly important because agriculture is what we do here in Nebraska. We, if we're going to grow Nebraska, we have to grow agriculture. So the reason I am here, then, is to proclaim FFA Week, February 22nd to the 29th, to promote FFA, to help Luke reach his goal of getting those other nine chapters and getting up to 200. Okay, you can help too, oh, Faith, yeah. okay. So, <laughs> all right, so we're gonna actually, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sign the proclamation, proclaim it FFA week. Luke is gonna say a few words, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna call you all up here to uh, um, uh, take some uh, pictures. Now I know we've got FFA from Norris and Randolph, correct? 
Yeah. Is Waverly here? Yeah. Waverly's here too. Okay, good deal. Yeah. All right. And what else? And the Career Academy. All right, great, fantastic. All right, so first things first, let me make this all official. We are officially proclaimed FFA week. There we go. And with that, Luke, I'm going to turn it over to you. Well, good morning. As uh, Governor Ricketts already mentioned, I am Luke Crable. I'm originally from Adams Central, which is in the Hastings, Nebraska area, but I'm now at UNL studying civil engineering, majoring in that, hoping for soil, water resources, and those areas within agriculture. I've been honored this past year to serve our nearly 10,000 members here in the state of Nebraska that are a part of FFA. Through countless opportunities, we are developing the next generation of agricultural leaders. The support our members receive is unmatched in any other organization uh, in our state. We are pushing them to explore their passions, start businesses, and look at future careers in the agriculture industry. They are looking to the future, bringing forward new ideas and change that will help them as the industry changes. To me, this is why FFA is so special. The experience each one of our members will receive is completely dependent upon them. They get to choose what they want to do and follow their passions in order to grow and improve in those areas. Agriculture is an expansive field and it is a very important part of Nebraska and it will continue to be an important part of Nebraska. And I'm confident through FFA and the people that I have met this year, we all have a very bright future with the leaders in our state who are looking to fill those careers. I'm thankful to be able to serve such an amazing organization this year and I hope that FFA continues to provide all of those members with the best experiences possible that they can so that FFA continues to be a special place in the hearts of all of our agricultural leaders. Thank you again for proclaiming this National FFA Week and for letting us come here to speak. Thank you. Great job, Luke. Good words. It's almost like my strategic communications guy wrote that. Did you, who, wrote, who wrote the speech for you? I wrote it. You wrote it. You did a good job. That was really good. You hit upon all the right points. Good job. All right. So uh, speaking of which, uh, Taylor, if you could come move the podium, we'll call all the FFA folks up here for a picture.